Welcome to Deanna Reads. My name is Deanna and I read. The book I'm going to review for you today is called Dearly Departed by, and it doesn't say, but, is Dearly Departed by Leah Havel. And as always, I'll just start by reading the summary. Love can never die. Love conquers all, so they say, but can Cupid's arrow pierce the hearts of the living and the dead? Or rather, the undead? Can a proper young Victorian lady find true love in the arms of a dashing zombie? The year is 2195. The place is New Victoria, a high-tech nation modeled on the manners, mores, and fashions of an antique era. A teenager in high society, Nora Dearly is far more interested in military history and her country's political unrest than in tea parties and debutante balls. But after her beloved parents die, Nora is left at the mercy of her domineering aunt, a social climbing spendthrift who has squandered the family fortune and now plans to marry her niece off for money. For Nora, no fate could be more horrible until she's nearly kidnapped by an army of walking corpses. But fate is just getting started with Nora. Catapulted from her world of drawing room civil civility, she's suddenly gunning down ravenous zombies alongside mysterious black-clad commandos and confronting the Laz, a fatal virus that raises the dead, and hell along with them. Hardly d ideal circumstances. Then Nora meets Bram Griswold, a young soldier who is brave, handsome, noble, and dead. But as is the case with the rest of his special to undead unit, luck and modern science have enabled Bram to hold on to his mind, his manners, and his body parts. And when his bond of trust with Nora turns to tenderness, there's no turning back. Eventually, they know the disease will win, separating the star-crossed lovers forever. But until then, beating or not, their hearts will have what they desire. In Dearly Departed, Romance meets Walking Dead Thriller, spawning a mildly imaginative novel of rip-roaring adventure, spine-tingling suspense, and macabre uh, comedy that forever redefines the concept of undying love. Gone with Respiration is the start of a new series, and it's a steampunk kind of zombie series, as you can tell from the summary. The next book will be Dearly Beloved, which comes out in 2012, and I really enjoyed this book. <laughs> as you can probably know, most of the books I review here, I review because I enjoyed them, and this book was probably one of my favorites of the year. Um, just because it was so different than like the narration was told from um, several different points of view several different characters it wasn't just Nora telling you the story about what happening happened we get to hear from Bram the um, dashing young zombie in the book we get to hear from Nora's best friend um, I forget what her name is flipped right out of my head. Um, I can't just flip through this to know, but any, um, so yeah. What is her name? That's going to drive me crazy. Pamela. Okay. And also we get to hear from, um, Nora's father in the book. He's one of the voices that we get to hear as well as, let's see, uh, Commander Wolf, who is in charge of the special zombie unit. So we get to hear all those different viewpoints and I really enjoyed that. It's been a while since I've read a book that you get to see inside the heads of all the different characters. It's usually been just the main protagonist that we get to hear their thoughts on things, but it was very refreshing to have all these characters and the author did wonderful character development in this book so they weren't just flat characters they were flesh and blood even the zombies so <laughs> i definitely liked that i really enjoyed that in this high-tech world we're at like where it seems kind of complicated the politics and all that we're actually dealing with the main issue of the zombies that have been reanimated and they're still themselves because in this book there are two different types of zombies. There's zombies that come back to life and they don't know, they don't remember anything about themselves. They are just 
zombies who crave um, living flesh. And then there's these other zombies who come back, but they retain their their souls. I would like to say they're they're themselves in this being dead and then coming back to life from this disease. And so we're dealing with how do we treat these people? Are they are they people? Are they just zombies? But wait, they have consciousness. The author really developed um, her zombie pathogen or whatever. It's I don't really remember. It's been a little bit since I read this book. But I did enjoy that the science made sense. And it made sense that these people were coming back from the dead, essentially. It was a very good read, one of my favorites of the year, as I said. I'm definitely looking forward to the next in this series coming out in 2012. There's so many books in, that are coming out in 2012 that I just can't wait to read. But this is definitely going to be one of my tops. In my rating seal, I would definitely own this book. It's, it's, it's wonderful. It's amazing. So thanks for watching. Keep reading. Bram the Dashing Young Zambi. Zomp Zambi.